Um, ladies and gentlemen, when we talked about dividing, all right, when we were dividing radicals, we could divide within our radicals, right? As long as they're under the same radicand, George, then we could divide between, inside of them. Um, but we have a problem is we cannot divide the square root of 50 into 2, right? The square root of 50 is what we call an irrational number. So what we want to do is, we can, since we cannot divide these into there, if this was like the square root of 200 divided by square root of 50, then we could simplify that, right? But in this case, we can't divide the square root of 50 into 2. So what we're going to want to do is, instead of dividing a rational number by an irrational number, 2 divided by an irrational, what we want to do, Blake, is we want to eliminate the irrational number, or dividing by an irrational number. So to do that, I want to get rid of the square root of 50. So to do that, I'll multiply by the square root of 50 on the top and the bottom. This is what we call rationalizing the denominator. Now, the reason why this works is because let's say I take the fraction 1 half. And then I take the fraction 1 half and multiply it by 3 over 3. Then I have 1 half is equal to 3 over 6. Is 1 half the same as 3 over 6? as far as size goes, as far as like the proportion. Yeah, right? The fractions are obviously different. But as far as the proportion, it's exactly the same, right? These ratios are equal to each other in their amount. So what's important about what I did is I multiplied the same number by the numerator and the denominator. Whenever you take a fraction, multiply by the same number, you produce equivalent e fractions. So as long as I, since I multiplied square root of 50 on top and bottom, I'm not changing the value of my ratio. Yes? It's a three. Yeah, it's like a hunchback three. So now let's go ahead and multiply across. Two times square root of 50 be 50. And then 50 times 50 would be 2,500. OK? Shh. Guys, I'm wasting way too much time waiting for you. Yes, Jamie? What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to rewrite the equation as divided by a rational number, not divided by an irrational number. So to do that, I got to multiply by my okay. irrational number on the top and the bottom. Because the square root of 50, to, oh, I'm sorry, what am I doing? Thank you. Square root of 50 times square root of 50 is equal to the square root of 50 times 50, right? Which is a pair. So it's 2 over square root of 50 divided by 50. That goes to square root of 50 over 25. Thank you. Now that's going to be on camera. That's cool.